Alrighty, so today we're gonna go over how to draw a Cyclops, uh, one of those mythical creatures. Somebody requested it and I'm gonna make it happen. It's just the headshot. Uh, very, very simple stuff. We can go through it step by step together um, and that's pretty much it, okay? So let's just hop right into the lesson. All right, let's get into the Cyclops. Uh, pretty cool character, I think. From those old movies, uh, Jason and the Argonauts and things like that. So I'm gonna pull down here. And I'm gonna, he's gonna have this kind of furrowed brow for that one eye. I notice it's really hard to get that to look right, you know? Curve over here on one side, curve over here for the other end. <clears throat> like so. Just kind of like pulling the sides of the eyes out, you know, for the, the eyelids there. And I'm gonna curve underneath to kind of fill that out. I'm gonna put a circle underneath that. And if you want, you can throw like a little highlight in it. Um, doesn't really matter. Personally, I might, I'm, I might, I'm just gonna throw a tiny highlight and fill in the rest. It could be a square, it could be a circle, it could be anything. Line over here down, line over here down. That is for the uh, top of the eyelid there, for the one eye that he has. And maybe down over here for the other part of the brow that's coming down. Okay, let's trace right here, or like curve this line over here. It's gonna be the top of the brow. Curve underneath. And then curve over the top. That's gonna be the, the brow, really, you know? Not the eyebrow, the brow, the physical, like, moving part. I don't know where my dog is. My dog's really silent. I'm scared. Gonna go over here, find the nose underneath that, pulling out down, up, back over here underneath, curve, right here, over here, curve for that far side nostril, he's got a big nose, and then I throw like a line underneath for underneath the eye, you know that lower eyelid. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. Line out here for the laugh line. Line out here for the laugh line on this side. You know, that, that when you smile, you make these lines. And I'm gonna go over here, pulling up over here for the open mouth. Down over here, round, down. All right. Spike on this side, spike on this side. It's gonna be like a fang or two, whatever. He's got like sharpish teeth. Usually it's just the canine. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification. I'm putting everything on here that you can imagine. So please, you know, hit that like and uh, I'm sorry, hit the subscribe. Make this the video you subscribe in. I'm going to be posting three times a day. What it's going to do is when you subscribe, it's going to give you a notification uh, on your like feed, right? You'll be scrolling around and you're going to see the thumbnail for what's happening that day. That's the only thing. It's, so there's no downside to it. Okay, down over here. curve underneath for a lower part of the mouth and I'm gonna go over here and add those bottom I don't know what you call them canines at the bottom basically and here tongue okay tongue Maybe in the back over here, you can kind of close this off and, you know, it's really deep in the back there so there'll be not very much shadow. I mean, there'll be a lot of shadow. So right, line over here for the split in the tongue. Curve over here for like some teeth on the side. And then I'm going to fill this in over here because it's like deep in the recesses of his mouth. Cool, cool. I'm gonna go down here for the lip. Lines over here, little thin lines for kind of like the texture of the lip. Down over here, chin up. Side of the jaw over here, and it's gonna pull up. Let's go to the far end over here. I'm gonna find the side. Curve up here. Curve over here for the side of the like the cheekbone.
And that is gonna go into a, the ears. So pull up, down for the like the elf ear. Down over here underneath. And maybe draw like a line here, line here for the inside of the ear. For this side, it's just gonna go right into the forehead. Because he really kinda has no brow over there. Horn above his head, down. There's actually a horn there. Curve. Curve. You never saw the old movie? Go check out those old movies. The Ray Harryhausen movies. Line, line, texture in the horn. So we got this rhino-like horn. We're gonna find the back of his head over here. Continue to pull line out. Down over here. Really ugly dude. Down over here for the back of the neck. Maybe he's got some folds in the back of the neck. And let's find that pointed ear on the far end over here. So now everything from this point on is going to be detail. So I'm going to draw like a curved line here because it'll be like a cheek, like thinner line. Thin line here, right? Top of the cheek here. Maybe there's some texture along the ridge of the, uh, I'm just drawing like some curved lines here as a texture. Um, you can draw that texture all over, by the way. So like, let's say in the side of the mouth here, he kind of has it. On that rare hairy house and I think he's also kind of made of stone I'm not even kidding so maybe you could draw like little make it thin remember make it thin but if you're gonna draw this texture of anything let's say that's just a bunch of uh, rocky shapes draw it thin thin line meaning don't put a lot of weight on your hand and that will add to the detail as opposed to getting in the way of the image because if those are too thin they're literally just gonna get in the way and you're not gonna want that. But let's just put it, uh, you know, more, I'm gonna throw an actual line right there, but you can kind of throw it around here on his cheek. I'm gonna do that over here to make him look like he's, you know, more made of rock or something like that, or at least reptilian skin. I'm thinking uh, that kind of stuff. But remember, thin, thin everywhere if you're gonna do it. And you can make it pretty random, honestly, as far as where the, the stuff appears as long as it's thin you can get a you can get away with a lot see how loose this stuff is i can only get away with that because of how thin it is let's draw the let's say the, the other side of the neck over here request some drawings as well this was actually a request so let me know if anybody has any other requests i will do them but that's it thank you so much uh stick around that was a cyclops uh, you know, from the old Ray Harryhausen movies, uh, you know, Greek mythology and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Hey, for those of you that are a little bit more serious and you really want to kind of upgrade your art skill all around, uh, I have these beginner art lessons here on my Skillshare. So the idea with this is that some people that, you know, for example, on YouTube, people just kind of want to draw what's in the video and just generally have a fun time. They're not always concerned about the little details and stuff about learning uh, how to do this stuff, you know, long term. Um, and I get that. That's fun. But for some people, some people want to upgrade their art ability entirely, like all around, like they're serious about it. If that's you, go here. Um, like I said, there's programs here on even some of the same material. Like I said, it's just a lot more in depth. My eye drawing program is an hour as opposed to the video I have on YouTube, which is like 10 minutes, right? You can still learn from both. But like I said, if you really want more and you really want to make this part of your life, go here. Um, I have same thing over here, how to draw a dragon head. I have anime. I have cartoons. There's categories for everything and everything is for beginners. Um, the other thing about this website is it's incredibly easy to watch it. This is like the Netflix of like drawing lessons. So you can go through the entire site, see everybody else's lessons. And normally the, the site costs like 30 to 40 bucks a month. Um, because you're watching this video right now, if you're still watching right now, you get it for free for at least a month, like 30 days. That's a lot. Um, but just you, what you have to do is go over here to the video, go down first link in the description the very very first link that gives you free access to this whole thing for 30 days um, you just go over here you click this thing 
boom, and then you sign up. Um, and it's super easy, and the, the cool part is you can just straight up cancel it before the 30 days is up, and you never pay a single thing. You never pay a cent, and you got all this learning from it. Uh, but yeah, like I said, that's uh, an option for you guys. Uh, if you guys want to do it, absolutely go hit that up. Um, and that's it. So talk to you later, and uh, hopefully I'll see I'll catch you over there later. Thank you so much. You are amazing. Uh, over here on the right, you're going to see my most recent upload. And on the top corner over here, you're going to see just another selection, another cool selection that has to do kind of with the subject of this video. Uh, and over here at the top, you can hit the subscribe to see a lot more. Uh, this is awesome, and I'll see you next time.